everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Have you ever known someone who was completely certain about what they wanted to do when they were young? A lot of us probably wish we could have had that kind of clarity. But then again, not all of us are meant to have it. Today's saint, John of God, spent most of his life clueless about what he wanted to do with himself. John was born in Portugal in the year 1495, and his life was a tempestuous one from the beginning. His family, once wealthy and influential, had fallen to poverty by the time he was born. He disappeared at the age of eight, separated from his family by an incident whose details are now unknown to history. The boy found himself homeless in a city in Spain, and he was eventually taken in by a man who gave him work as a shepherd. John went back and forth between soldiering and shepherding until he was 40. It was around this time that he started to look back on his life and he found himself extremely dissatisfied with it. When he was 43 and living in Granada, he was given the chance to see St. John of Avila, who was passing through the area. John, incredibly moved by the saint's sermon, suffered a kind of breakdown. He began beating his chest and begging desperately for forgiveness for his sins. He gave away all of his possessions and began wandering through the streets behaving wildly until he was eventually detained and taken to an asylum. During this period, he was visited twice by St. John of Avila. During his second visit, he counseled John to dedicate himself to something more productive, namely to help the poor. John, who had been in a frenzy up to this point, was instantly pacified by the words of the saint, to the shock and astonishment of the asylum keepers. Upon his release, John immediately set to work, selling wood to earn money to feed the poor. In short order, he was able to rent a space to use as a shelter for the sick and the needy. He carried out his operation so enthusiastically and achieved such impressive results that he quickly made a name for himself in the city. These efforts were the beginning of what would eventually become the Hospitaller Order of St. John of God. Eventually, John hit his limit before long. After 10 years, the fatigue of his zealous service to the poor began to make him ill. He did his best to hide his ailment and continued his work, but was eventually too sick to continue. He was forcibly moved to a place where he could rest, all the while complaining that while Jesus drank gall upon the cross, he, a lowly sinner, was being given good food. John of God was at last claimed by his illness on his birthday. He died kneeling before the altar at precisely 55 years old, and the entirety of Granada was present to honor him at his funeral. He was later canonized in 1690 and named patron saint of hospitals and the sick. John's example is so inspiring, not just because of how much he accomplished, but because of the dramatic changes he made to his life. He went from self-interest to utter selflessness, from madness to clarity of purpose, all in his last 15 years. He shows us that even if we make lots of mistakes, it's never too late to turn things around. St. John of God, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.